Welcome back to Satisfactory Alpha weekend, that is. Um, and yes, we need to get started into tier three, and that needs us to get into coal power. So let's actually just fulfill this uh, milestone we were working on, which just needs some copper cable. And off you go. Okay. Long range transportation as well as the construction of outposts is now encouraged. Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass. Presumably, I also don't. I hopefully don't have to actually go and gather it. We'll see. Uh, so anything we can craft in here um, does not look like anything new. However, we may be able to craft new buildings. So what have we got in here? Uh, power? Yep, yeah, we've got the coal generator. That's going to need rotors and modular frames. Uh, I've constructed one of those just to see what it was, but it obviously is going to put up for this. And it produces 50 megawatts each. So that's two and a half times an over... Uh, two and a half times the biomass burner that isn't overclocked. Um, overclocking, yeah, I'm not too worried about it just yet. I did do one of them, but I'm not too concerned. You can also overclock the production machines, by the way. They're basically like modules, uh, but simpler in uh, Factorio, etc. So, yeah, uh, we'll go to those. So the coal generator is new. Uh, what else have we got? Presumably we've got the vehicle. Yeah, we can build a tractor. I want and a truck station to unload stuff. So for all of this, it looks like we're going to need rotors, and it looks like we're going to need beacons as well. Yeah, beacons. Uh, they're one of the other unlocks, and I don't think I've actually unlocked it, so we better get started with that first. Uh, what is it to unlock the beacon? So it's an exploration beacon. Here it is. Uh, we need some more copper cable. We need some plate, but plate is plentiful. Let's actually get this one. Um, selected and we're going to wait for it to come back before we can construct that so we've got to get started maybe with let's scan where, where there is copper uh, copper coal please be close please be close um oh wait 600 meters that way 800 meters that way thousand meters that way Okay, I'm almost certain they're doing that on purpose from where we started. So that's the closest direction in that direction. So uh, we will go have to have an explorer over there. But maybe we should build the truck to do that. Well, the tractor, I guess you want to call it. And it looks like there's another power slug on top of that. So we could go and get that for another overclocking crystal. However, uh, it's basically due south of us, the copper. So we should have a truck station maybe coming in behind, somewhere behind the elevator and uh, bringing it into the base here and we'll replace these with coal generators once we've got enough coal. I did go out and get some more leaves so uh, we've got enough biomass to be going on with for the time being. Uh, this is going to need, uh, let's see, uh, I've got 178, um, 180, so I need another 70 or so to do that in five minutes. So let's just expand the, the well, but let's admit, ah, <laughs> my tongue's tied. Let's actually go and make the um, expansion for the uh, the beacons and then I'll start crafting some of the other stuff in the meantime to actually get us started. So I need those modular frames. Um, they need lots of reinforced iron plating which I'm glad to say is being constructed by our base. Okay so we can build a truck station while that pod is coming back. Looks like we've got everything we need there. It does take up 20 megawatts of power however uh, but we do have, uh, yeah, our unloading and loading around here. So it might be worthwhile keeping this over here for now. And then we want to unload. Probably, let's rotate it. Yeah, this seems like the right direction to unload because if our coal is going to be over there. So let's just assume that we have this by our, our elevator right there. Okay, and there it goes. So that's our truck station. Uh, we've got ports to basically unload and load. And there's a fuel loading and loading interface. So we'll need the truck for that, but that's one piece done. Let's take a look at the rest. The tractor is going to need 10 more rotors, two more modular frames, which I've got most the ingredients for. And is there anything else I want to make right now? Just the coal generators themselves. And that's all the same ingredients, so more rotors more modular um, cores. 
Is our pod back? Nope, it's not back yet. Oh, it's it's at the top right. One minute twenty nine. So can I make any more modular frames? I can make a few. There we go. And we could also make some rotors. We'll just handcraft them because uh, no need to wait for the machines to actually do it. And uh, let's just get uh, some of those going. 16. Yeah, that'll do. All right, cool generator. <clears throat> we just need some more cable. That'll do. Let's see how big they are compared to the biomass ones. So... Okay, that's bigger. That is definitely bigger. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. I'm going to need to put... Where's the input? There we go. So the input's going to go in the back there. So we're going to want it facing this sort of direction. And are we going to have the input coming sort of that way, maybe? So let's just zoom there. How does that look? Okay, and can we connect this with a conveyor easily? We probably want splitter mergers here, so let's just get one of those going. Uh, splitter. And we want it going this direction, so... Let's just line you up. There we go. And if we're bringing coal in, we can bring it that way. And then we'll have basically a gigantic generator and then of course we can just pull the rest out of here hopefully we'll have more input than, than we need and then i'm not quite sure what we're going to put in this stuff presumably fuel of whatever kind and maybe it needs refined fuel we'll see once we've built it there is a turbine so yeah it is reasonably realistically modeled basically we're just going to burn stuff here steam comes out spins a turbine and uh the well Shouldn't that go... Oh, no, it comes back. Is there a return? Yeah, they've modelled a return. Good. And go, it goes up back there. Fine. Happy for that. All right, so let's go and see if our wire factory has made enough resources. And our pod should be back, so we should be able to get those beacons on the go. There we go. And waiting for resources. Or plate. Rod. And wire. Okay, with the beacons unlocked, you can make them in the equipment bench over there. Uh, we're going to go and construct another modular frame. Just one, I think. And that should be enough to build the truck. And I'm not going to build it anywhere in here where it could get caught by conveyors. So let's just see where this can go. Uh, that's quite nice. Quite like the look of that. We can turn it around. Not that it should need too much, but uh, let's put it down there. Okay. And can we just get in this? Ooh, we have a workbench on the back. Crafting bench. Same as our hub. That's good. And um, yeah, also some vehicle stuff. So what does it need to fuel the tank with? That's the interesting thing. Does it run on biofuel? Uh, vehicle path not recording. Ooh, there's autopilot. Yeah, this thing is not going anywhere, so presumably, given that the only source of fuel we've got is biofuel, we should probably go and get some more of that and um, fuel up our, our tractor. One second, I need to go and grab uh, more leaves. Ah, this is not too far from our base. There's our elevator and there's our base. In here, we've got another glowing object. Is this another work in progress or is this actually... Yeah, that's a Mersosphere work in progress. No idea what it does. Presumably it doesn't do really do much right now. And just while I'm collecting more leaves, there appears to be some more stuff over there. Uh, that is, that's a creature. No, I don't want to just pick you up. Um, although I guess... Uh, beautiful. Um, tempted to see... Oh no, it, it, it emits poison gas. That... Ah. Why does it have to be so beautiful and emit poison gas? That's that's terrible. That's on purpose. Here, come close to me. Look, look, I, look at all this shiny stuff. Mm. Yeah, more leaves. 
Okay, one leaf trip later, and I assume this thing, why the, well, the reason why this has a workbench on the back is so that you can actually refuel this thing once you, uh, once you go out there, if you're short. So let's just convert some of this into biofuel, and we'll be ready to try and drive it, I think. So yeah, the biofuel clicks into the fuel tank slot, so, um, yeah, and it's got some storage as well, so why don't we just try and drive this thing? Yep, off it goes, and do I get a kind of visual indication of, uh... Oh, this is kind of fun. Uh, visual indication of fuel, yeah, it's the very bottom of the screen, 112. And enable autopilot, no. I don't want to record that yet. Um, cancel. I actually just want an indicator for my scanner. There we go. It's going to be south, isn't it? So we need to head in that direction. Yep. All right, let's go for a bit of a drive. And there's cliffs. Why are there going to be cliffs whenever I have a vehicle that can actually just wield? Okay, I guess we can drive down most some of them. Uh, maybe not this one. That looks like another cliff. Ah, so annoying. I'll meet you over at the coal. And I was on the way to the coal. It's over there. I decided to go to the east spot instead of the south one. Just the terrain was a little bit friendlier. Uh, so while on the way here, I found... There's our truck. Uh, it's like a Mars rover. Um, yeah, found this sort of stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bees. No one likes glow bees. Ow. Uh, hmm, no damage. Well, not much damage anyway. Do we get anything from them? Yeah. Okay. Different kind of alien carapace. Uh, do we get anything for you? No, you look like part of a ship. Another part. Do we actually get anything in here? Um, drop pod. Emission door status operational. Pull handle to open door. And we get a hard drive with fix it data, analyze it in the MAM to salvage its contents. Okay. And there's some wire around and some other bits and pieces, so we may as well collect. Yeah, collect everything we can. Circuit boards. Interesting, we haven't made those before. Nothing else around, I don't think. No. Okay. All right. Back to trying to find the coal. And uh, just click a little few more resources. Yeah. I'll give you one guess where the coal is. Want to guess? Yep. <laughs> okay. There's no way going to get a truck up that. Uh, uh, well, even me of that. Let's uh, let's see if there's any way up, really. Uh, that's really annoying. Uh, I suppose it's meant to be that way. But uh, that means we're going to have to go through a whole bunch... Oh, that's quite nice. A whole bunch of um, conveyor sort of poles, and maybe we can actually get up that way. So can we actually do that from here? Um, so I'm not conveyor belt but I need to put the conveyor pole back on my bar. Logistics. Conveyor pole. Let's actually put it in the slot 4 where it was originally. And then I guess we're going to try and get up there. So it depends how much room we need. And yes, I could do walkways if I'd researched that. I haven't. Okay. And then I want uh, basically to ascend. And we're going to go up again. Okay, now can I can actually connect these up in a walkway of sorts? Yep, and then I'm probably going to need to go to uh, foundation blocks again and then build it on top of the foundation blocks. So this is a four meter one. I may need more concrete at this rate. And then I'm going to need to get up there. So let's just build a uh, conveyor pole just to go from here. There we go. 
this may dump me off the top, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, let's just rotate you around. Yeah, and will you now connect? Is there enough room? No, too steep. Ah, I need to just remove that. And review. And then maybe, maybe we can build one on top of this. Uh, is that too steep still? Let's try it now. There we go. <laughs> this may seem like it's a little bit of a... Yeah, a weird way around, but uh, you get the idea. I'll go and do this off camera and see if I can get up to the top. Two discoveries. One, you can build staircases out of nothing. Well, uh, basically out of uh, thin air. They're not standing on anything with Minecraft-like physics. So uh, you build it from the ground and then you remove the bottom block, etc. And you can basically use a small amount of resources to get quite far up a particular mountain. Now you'll see up here for the coal resources, the, the creatures are actually a little bit differently that come to guard it and they can shoot range stuff so I'm not going to do it right now but there is a coal point right there and we'll be able to come back with some resources we're going to be able to want to make a mark one miner but we're also going to want some kind of self-feed mechanism so that it can feed itself which means we're probably going to need another coal generator some more concrete etc and basically everything else that we'd need for that kind of thing uh, also some way to get here without going all the way that way uh, around this whole place if we have a look over here well there is a way in here i suppose but we need some way to actually go and grab stuff with a storage container and we wouldn't want to to have to go up there all the time for it so having it exported down that conveyor belt i'll just reverse it its direction and then yeah we can get in this way yeah so our base is over there so we have to go all the way down that way across the field and then back towards our base but we can record that route and that's something we'll need to do for when we get to autopilot however for now i need to go and go and grab something that will actually heal me because i got uh, shot by those uh, ranged mobs up there a little bit earlier and uh, i wouldn't mind at all if uh, I didn't have to uh, I didn't have to dodge them so a gun would be handy but we're not there yet all right so now we can try and head home uh, I guess we can go up here I'm down to about half of the fuel and going up hills really really uh, is not the easiest thing in the world I should probably bring out the chainsaw as well so that these these trees can be cleared but otherwise, there is a route out here, so I'll see you back at the base. And with the coal in the storage, let's see if this thing takes this automatically. Are we out of fuel? Ooh, there's a bug. Yeah, if you shift-click accidentally into this thing... Yeah, if you shift-click in here, it'll wipe out the existing fuel source, uh, which is not great. Um, yeah, the existing fuel was in there. There's about 50 or so biofuel. And if you shift click from your inventory, unless it got pushed back out again. Uh, oh, no, wait. Yeah, there it is. That's fine. It just replaces it. That's uh, me. No, there's no bug. It's okay. So let's get in again. Let's see if I actually will take this this time. Do I need to be more exact than that? Uh, I'll be kind of hoping that's automatic. Uh, how about here? Um, unloading? Are you going to actually take this automatically? Oh, it needs power. That's why. <laughs> okay, and how much power does it need? Uh, it was like 20 megawatts, was it, or something? Yeah, let's actually just half this stack for a second. Let's grab you. And then we're just going to connect this up temporarily to a power pole. So the only thing this thing powers at the moment is that truck station. I just want to try it out. And inside here, let's just drop in some coal. And that's starting up. Um, okay, fine. So now... Ah, the truck station worked it must have grabbed it pretty quickly i didn't even see it happen uh yep it's already grabbed it 
fine and that will be self-feeding once this thing comes back with coal so yeah this is the sort of the i guess the trains system or equivalent to trains in factorio in satisfactory so we can recall a route from here all the way over to where the coal is and once we get up, up there uh, assuming there is an actual route there is a bit of a jump down that we need to get some more concrete to put some foundations up there uh, assuming that that's actually built then we'll be able to get to and from there all the way back here and you know if we build up a um mark one miner we'll be able to get that done automatically and fared pretty much permanently okay and here we are on our research so we had that hard drive remember and then we can input that and see what it brings us that's going to take 10 minutes to find out but uh yeah we have that and we have circuit boards which you don't seem to be able to do anything with yet presumably well that will come with another tier or in fact unlocks later in this tier so we can put those away for now keep them nice and safe and more of this work in progress stuff that we don't actually need at the moment and i've got plenty of leaves that i can convert into more biofuel our factory did shut down while i was out there because it must have run out of fuel or maybe used up too much power or something but uh yeah let's see how much actually made yeah we've got like 1500 so is there anything i can grab uh we can build an object scanner that's one option um Or at least we can already build one. Yeah, we don't need the actual blueprint for one. Uh, the fabric research unlocked parachutes. So if you fall off very high places like that uh, that cliff where the coal is, then that would be useful. Medicinal or medicinal inhaler, and we can make that. Presumably that was from the mycelium. I want to say uh, that's going to take a thousand wire though. Then logistics mark two is faster belts. And conveyor poles that are stackable. So presumably you can get belts that cross over and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, kind of cool. Uh, nothing else I want particularly just yet. Although being able to do jump pads would have made me really easy to get up to that top. But not very easy to actually get the conveyor poles. So I'll just ignore that for now. All right. Um, we need some materials. Because I need to go back up there and get a Miner Mark 1. And a coal generator to provide itself with power, basically. And back here we are, next to the coal. So I think I'm going to want to... I don't have any room to expand this way. There's our coal space. And it's on top of a giant giant cliff. So I think what we're probably going to go is... Well, no, we can actually bring it out this way. Yeah, it's fine. I just need to put... Uh, I just need to put foundations down. We can go for the thinner foundation. There's no sort of physics problem with that at the moment. There we go. And... There we go. We've got a platform. And that means we can now hopefully make the miner. So the miner is in production. Production miner. There we go. And we can rotate it to face this direction. There we go. There's the miner. And we're going to want to basically split this off and send half of it. Well, most of it needs to go to our coal generator. And the rest can go that way. So let's try for a splitter first. A merger. Nope. I want a splitter. And input is going to be from that direction. Yeah. That will do. Now, I don't have any way of prioritizing this at the moment. That is an interesting option. I don't think we can... Well, if it splits evenly, that's not too much of a problem. As long as there's enough you know, in the buffer. But for now, yeah, why don't we just try this and let's just try putting the uh, power coal generator, turn this so that to the input is next to this thing. Can we actually line it up? Will you let me place this down? Hopefully I do have enough stuff. Floor is too steep. It's on a flat plane. Um, maybe I need to make the bit, make the floor a little bit, uh, a little bit further out. Let's grab some more. Uh, foundations. There we go. Oh, I'm out of concrete. Let's just reclaim you. And will that be enough? Let's reclaim you. All right, let's try it now. Can we go a little bit further out? Okay, let's try that. Go for the power coal generator. Yeah, that will actually go this way. And can we line it up with that? 
It's not very easy when I can't really move too far back. Let's, uh... There we go. Okay. And that means I should be able to connect you to you. And hopefully you... To... Whoa. Uh, I need to be able to see through here. There we go. So that's the power sorted. And then we just need an output going to here. And then we'll need to run that downhill. So I need to remove all this previous section. And I'm just going to run it downhill. So that's okay. Yeah, it looks fine. And then we need to power this up. So we're going to need a power pole. Here should do. Then let's hook up this to this, this to that. And hopefully that should be enough once we have enough sort of coal to feed into this thing in the first place. So I should probably pick up some coal from here. Reminds you of the very start of a Factorio game, doesn't it? All right, and let's uh, put this in and let's see if the whole thing itself powers. It should do. All right. And are you starting up? You should be producing coal. You are active. I can see the animation going. It's drilling now. So that's in section at the back. And in comes our coal. So this should get evenly split. Just get the leaves out of there. I should have bought the chainsaw. I didn't. And then, yeah, we should be getting some out of here, which should be going downhill, and we can remap that to wherever we want to. Uh, in my case, I'm going to need to just, however, erase this stuff. So let's just erase that section. And let's head down there manually. Didn't have to fight the creatures. It's good when that happens. So there we go. And then conveyor, you to you. Whoops, to you. Let's chase it down. And you to you. And then we may want to reverse ourselves. My truck's just back there. I'll need to bring out the uh, the chainsaw just to get rid of this tree or something. But ideally, we just want to actually to go into something like a um, storage container or something. We may want another truck station over here, of course. Uh, is that going the right way? We'll see in a second. Uh, let's just get rid of you. And there's no real room for a truck station out here, to be fair. We actually probably want the, the stuff going the other way. But for now, I'm going to see if I've got enough materials left for a storage container. Just so I can load up from here into my inventory and just basically move it across that way. So storage container. I do have enough. Good. Okay, so we want to turn this around. And we're going to loop back on ourselves for the moment. Okay. And are you all the way to the end? No, you aren't. So you need to be removed. This side. All right. And that's coal essentially automatically producing now. And it will be coming down here. Wait a second. Is that going up? Oh, it's just the reverse side. Ah, the other side. Cool. I like the fact they've actually modelled that. So the coal can, will come down here and we'll start building up in our storage container. Uh, we can, of course, then pipe it uh, later out to a truck station uh, over here somewhere. I've already had to put in some foundations. Um, I'll show you where they are, actually, just so you know where they are if you're doing this route yourself. And then we'll have to consider uh, what we do about autopiloting and stuff like that. I think I'm actually about to run it for the weekend, uh, however, the um, the Alpha weekend. It's only about half an hour left to the official ending time. Whether they end that on time or not, who knows? So yeah, here I've got a bit of a ramp up. And that's about the only you know change I needed to the terrain to actually get this running. But that's all running. I hope that it's uh, basically the equivalent of chunk loaded. I, I hope this is loaded uh, all the way while I'm not around. And if that's the case, then we should be able to come back here and basically pick up a huge amount of coal every time. And for now, I'll just grab half a stack. Well, if it stacks up to 100, that is. So back to the base. And uh, yeah, I think we'll close up for the episode because I'm about to run out of time. 
and coming back to the base uh, just from a perfectionist point of view. I don't want to have to go around the back every time, uh, even though I may have to record the routes in future. However, uh, if we have enough materials, uh, let's just put a little bit of ramp in here, rotate around. Because uh, the the it's not much of a sort of scrambling kind of vehicle. It does actually need ramps, uh, although it, it will go down over cliffs. <laughs> Fine-ish. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tip this over. I really hope not. But uh, we've got a nice ramp here, and we can head over. There isn't anything stored in the truck, of course, but uh, at least for the moment, because we just don't have enough space needed. However, this will... Ooh, we do actually see nice animation, and there wasn't anything in that, so I don't know what it grabbed, but uh, that should be fine. So now we've got a truck, a little tractor, Mars rover thing, and we have a coal generator, essentially, that can actually power it. But for now, uh, we can just cl click you off, and the rest of the factory will need more of these, but we'll need to make it, let it build up before that happens. Unfortunately, I'm out of time for the weekend. So I hope you've enjoyed the first three or four episodes of Satisfactory. Once it enables for early access, this should be coming out on a Friday, I think. So the Friday before the Tuesday, the early access begins. So there'll be a few days delay after this one before I'm able to get back in again. And we'll see whether we need to, to um, where we need to restart or whether we can get to keep the maps. Now, one thing I would say is just some final thoughts from me on, on the, the game, just to close out for the Alpha Weekend. So obviously, there's parts that aren't actually um, that aren't in the game yet. I think it's pretty thoroughly enjoyable so far. If you like Factorio in any way, I would say it's worth a try. Um, I'm not sure what the refund policy on, on Epic is. You may have to check what that, that, uh, that is on the Epic launcher. However, for me, £27 for a game like this, given that... Well, we've unlocked the first three tiers, and the six tiers in the early access to get started with, and they're probably going to be more later, I would have thought. Yeah, so four, five, six, so those three are going to be available in early access, and then at least seven and eight in uh, in the final game, it looks like. And given that usually with these games, the tiers get harder, and things need to be laid out differently, and you need to rework stuff, I think there's going to be quite a lot of gameplay available, even in early access. Uh, maybe 20 hours, maybe more than that. Yeah, it seems like fairly reasonable. I spent a few hours in this just on this early, uh, well, this this alpha test weekend, and I think I'm certainly happy to pay for it myself. But um, yeah, we'll see what you guys think in the comments below. Hopefully, um, the the game modeling so far in terms of the sort of factory layout. Let's think about that. So we've got um, splitters and mergers. They're in. We don't have any prioritized versions of them yet. That may make things a little bit more difficult. We may have to just do something like this, whereby we have things just stacking up and um, think about some mechanisms for dealing with that or have completely parallel workflows. I think if I was building this again, what I would probably do is sort of max out a single miner like this just producing uh, in going into multiple smelters and producing, you know, uh, Basically, one mine is worth of iron, first of all, and we'll just get that going into a box. Same thing with the copper, again, going into a box. So it's just going to build up after the smelter. And then, um, well, if we have more slots available here, for example, there's these two, you can always expand that with parallel workflows. You know, it's parallel lines. We're all going to smelters. And then from there, um, we're going to have to think about working backwards from the end product because we've unlocked with the massive space elevator, um, we've unlocked a few things like the rotors and like the reinforced iron. But if we have a look at that now, it's going to require different stuff. And if it's only a, a, an unlock once, I'm not even so terribly sure that we need to um, pipe the early stuff into it. Like the, the, not this stuff, because that might require a bit more, that 500. But uh, the, the previous tier with the rotors and the reinforced iron, you could sort of hand ladle it in. You wouldn't need to do anything else other than that. Um, so, yeah, we need to un obviously unlock motors and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I really like this mechanism. Uh, I want an animation when this leaves. I, I assume that's on the list, but uh, I definitely want an animation of some kind. It was so cool about having it come down. We definitely want something going up as well. Um, and maybe returning just like our little uh, little pod. On the pod side of things, it seems like a cool mechanic, but at the same time, it doesn't really do anything. Once you press that button, you don't have, you don't have to wait. It's just the time mechanism before you can unlock the next thing. 
So uh, it would be nice if this actually did something material in the world. Maybe it brought something back down or something along those kind of lines. Uh, yeah, not sure, but uh, I do like the idea in general. Haven't got to the second tier of belts yet, of course, but uh, I don't think there's a multiple tiers, your niece not yet, of splitters and mergers. If you put faster belt in, it should just produce faster output, so you don't have to upgrade these. So it's more about laying out the factory then and uh, seeing how we go from here. Uh, I would like more uh, controls on sort of grid, on the grid basis. So both from the power poles to be able to line those uh, along lines in some way, maybe align them with each other, but ignore the buildings, possibly something along that kind of lines would work very, very well, I think. Um, similarly with the buildings, uh, we're gonna, I think if I was building this again, I'd probably wanna move these buildings up a floor or something like that, or separate them into floors uh, and have, you know, the conveyors going up the walls or something and take them to the upper floors, just so we can have different production floors and have, build it like a really large multi-level factory in here, that which you can't really do in uh, Factorio, aside from, you know, Factorissimo and other mods like that, that sort of simulate that by just moving you to like uh, another indoor space, that kind of thing. And even those, those aren't touching multiple levels. So uh, yeah, you just have to build I suppose you could build, try and build one inside another, but I'm not sure if that actually works. I don't think it works in Factorissimo. And anyway, but uh, yeah, you can build them next to each other, certainly. So yeah, this height element, I think I actually quite like. And I think, uh, given the amount of expansion here, and the amount of space you've got, you have got a large amount of space, but just look at how much is taken up by all of this machinery. And this is still fitting in things fairly tightly. You know, there's not huge gaps. Uh, especially not in each line, there isn't huge gaps. Between lines, I've tried to leave a fair amount. Um, so yeah, if we're going to go up, if we're going to run out of space, like we've got rocks here in the way, and we've got cliffs on that side, then we're going to want it to go up multiple floors. So we may end up with maybe like a logistics floor, um, a smelting floor, or maybe do the smelting outside. And then, you know, maybe we build upwards for further tiers of stuff. Not sure yet. Have a think about it. Let me know in the comments, let other people know in the comments what you think about the game so far. And hopefully I'll see you next time in the early access period on the 19th of March, or rather the 20th, because that's when I'll get the uh, the game and uh, be able to start recording. Also, I'll see you then. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It's been a great early, uh, I'm gonna say early access, great alpha test weekend. And we'll see you next time for some more Satisfactory. If you've enjoyed the episode, feel do, do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, as always, guys, thanks for watching.